All right, so I'm here today at the Isquah Highlands, and uh, as you can see, it's a little windy, and maybe even in the microphone, you're hearing a little bit of pops and whatnot, and I actually got something that'll hopefully fix that here in this bag slash envelope, and I'm, uh, I decided to also do it, I'm just gonna rip it open here, kind of like a unboxing on location, so I bought this online on Amazon specifically and I got it from First to Savvy and what it is it's a wind cover for the Rode Go mic that a lot of you are probably aware of and it is a mic windscreen muff for the video Go mic like I said and this is not the official one and I only paid about 10 bucks plus two dollars in shipping and it actually shipped from China when I looked at the uh, tracking and it actually took probably about three to four weeks for me to get it so taking it out of the box uh, envelope there it is and uh, it's pretty so hopefully the wind's not bothering you too much but we're gonna fix that real soon here um, so yeah it uh, comes in this little bag and it says, I don't know what it says, but it does say for, it's for the Rode video mic, it has a little scanner code on the back says go. So we'll just, I guess, open it up. If I can. Oh, okay, you don't even have to rip the thing. Ah, check that out. Okay. So yeah, that looks like a dead cow, right? So yeah, it's a dead cat muff, whatever you want to call it. Synthetic fur. It actually looks like a raccoon tail. Look at this. Look at that. It has a, a strange fake leather like entry point, and then it has like a metallic cinch cord on elastic. And yeah, this is supposed to fit over the windscreen that's already on the road. Go, Mike. And on the page for it i think it said that it will cut it by i think it said negative 20 decibels if and that's just like the overall noise uh with the wind cutting so i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna stick the camera in some spots you probably hear the wind popping and that is going to be possibly the example of what it sounds like without and the next shots here and whatnot i will put this on but I'm gonna get some shots of this too so I'll show you what it looks like all right stay tuned we're not done all right so here is the rig here I am there's a check and so here's the dead cat and I don't know if you hear like a whining noise I might be picking up interference from over there or there's like a school this way um, but so yeah, so one thing I'm noticing is the hairs are actually coming down Can't see it really It's you can kind of see them so I Think what I did on my road video mic is I um I actually moved That the rocker thing the shock support I actually moved it forward so that I could use the eyepiece on my camera so that might be why I'm getting the hairs right there in front of my lens and stuff. But I don't know if you can tell on this screen, but yeah, so it, it clamped over pretty well. There's a little stretchy thing. It fit the front. You can kind of feel the seam. It's kind of a hard seam. And there's actually like a little bit of a gap. But I don't know if you noticed compared to the other shots. I don't know, can you notice that there's less noise? How does it sound? I mean, I see this moving quite well. So yeah, look at that go. So hopefully you can hear a difference. So this is with the mic uh, dead cat on the camera. You might see some of those strands going in front of the lens. And like I might have mentioned before, I actually moved my shock mount forward. And I can actually move it backwards again. I don't know if you know that about the video road mic, 
you can actually move it into different spots. I actually moved mine forward because every time I looked at the eyepiece, it was bumping me in the head. But what do you think? Is it cutting the wind pretty good? I mean, it looks like it's doing a good job. And did the volume also drop? It, in, on the description, it mentioned that it would drop the audio a little bit. Well, I hope it worked, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of this uh, dead cat. It's actually, it looks, the quality looks really good. Hopefully, the it's working really good. And uh, it was only 10 bucks instead of what, 35, 30 to 40 dollars for the official one. And uh, yeah, I mean, check all my other videos out. Subscribe, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, put the questions down below. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.